But I do think it's hard to like keep arguing with a nigga like those in like the pedophile thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's one thing like, oh, your contract up. It's another thing when niggas say they're fucking kids and there was already little weird things out there that people were trying to like. Little weird things? I mean, it's not like all this stuff just came out of nowhere. It's not like we forced Drake to go on stage with this 17 year old girl. I mean, what you mean? This is Drake himself massaging this 17 year old girl's shoulder. What, 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 what you mean? He did this to himself. We didn't tell Drake to do this. This is Drake. Drake, Drake did this to himself, sir. Seventeen. Seventeen. So he knows that she's seventeen at this time. He said, Oh man. I can't go to jail yet. Not yet. I can't go to jail. He said, I can't go to jail yet. You 17. Why do you look like that? You thick. Look at all of this. And this is in front of everybody. This is who this nigga is. Bro, you are Drake. You're in a live audience. You're performing. People are watching you. If this nigga can't resist himself in front of a crowd, in front of an audience, on the internet, what you think he's doing behind closed doors? I'm not saying he's doing anything. I'm just saying he got to feel real comfortable doing this in front of everybody. And you know everybody watching. Now, he clearly knows that she's 17 at the time. And he's still going for round two. I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but bro, that, that's not what you should be saying right now. Not in front of, bro, this, for him to say this out loud like this in front of a live audience. Do you know how crazy this is, bro? So imagine what he's doing behind closed doors. Now, I'm not saying he's doing anything. All right. I'm not saying he's doing anything, but I'm just saying he's a bold motherfucker to say this in front of everybody. That's all I'm saying. No chicks in here recording. What do you have to say for that, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's good. You saw that? Yeah, you saw that? <sighs> yeah, exactly. It's not good, is it? Not good on that. Something, something just ain't right. Something ain't right, something ain't right. Something, something just ain't right. Something, something just ain't right. Matter of fact, we, hey, hold up, he love, we love, bring it back, come rewind. Something, something just ain't right. Something right, something right. Latch on to so. Um, I would have drink if, if, if he just ignored it, it would have worked. But it doesn't pain. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay, here we go. Fine. Uh, Dejan Watson says, uh, Drake should send a cease and desist to the record. <laughs> Parker says, yeah, it's natural hate. Kendrick, open the doors. So you think there's just hate on Drake? Holy shit. Najee Okafor says, yo, Bow Wow was doing Drake numbers with CDs, CD sales before stream. Yo, yo, I hate when y'all just compare everybody to Drake. Like, if you compare Drake's pop appeal to some of these guys, maybe there's no, like, yeah, Nelly would do a lot of numbers. But, but did Nelly have the heart and the souls of these people like that? But, like, 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 niggas have grown up on Drake. Like, the same way people love, we like this. Drake is a pop artist and Jay Z at the same time. This dude grew up on Jay, right? Who just loves everything Jay says. This dude grew up on Nas, love everything Nas said. Even DMX. Then he just had a shit ton of hit records. You can't just compare him to Bow Wow. I don't think if Bow Wow had people rocking with him and loving him to the level that his music connected beyond the hits and was just part of their lives and they felt they knew him, I don't think he'd be like you know, uh, is he gonna reality show the movies? But I don't think he'd be in a different place, bro. Or maybe just music involved because these days people do care much more about your outside the music stuff or make sure the music's congruent. Like anyway, Part also said Kendrick made it okay to hate on Drake in public. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Brad Blunt says, uh, what about if I was not over thank you for the Belgian 20th donation? Yeah, about um, Brad Blunt says, or maybe people don't fuck with songs. I, I highly don't believe that people don't fuck with Family Matters. And even though people want to say it's a white flag with the hard part six. I, I honestly, I don't even remember Family Matters. I honestly don't remember shit said that, that Drake, I don't remember anything that Drake said. I, I truly don't. Hold on, let me just, I don't, I don't even remember Family Matters. I'm telling y'all, man, yo, look, Kendrick body this shit because I literally don't even, hold on. I need to refresh my memory what the hell Family Matters is even about because I, I completely forgot. Nah, bro. That ain't it, bro. Nah, I, I see why I forgot it. All jokes aside, I literally forgot what beat it was. I forgot everything that he said. I, I'm not even trolling. I had to genuinely go back and refresh my memory. Like, what did it? What is Family Matters? Nah, bro, that ain't it. That ain't, that, that ain't it, man. That ain't it. No, no, no. I'm sorry. The Hard Part 6 is a really good song, especially from a rapping perspective. I'm sorry. Nah, man.
I'm, I'm, I'm a, that could piss me off. No, I, I think he's doing his own purpose. I, I think he's doing his own purpose. There, 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 there's no way he can be serious. There's, yeah, he's, he, he got to be trolling. He got to be trolling. He has to be trolling. And loving him to the level that his music connected beyond the hits and was just part of their lives and they felt they knew him. I don't think he'd be like, you know, is he going to reality show? I don't know what he's doing, but I don't think he'd be in a different place, bro. Or maybe just music evolved, because these days people do care much more about your outside the music stuff or make sure the music is congruent with your life. Anyway, Park also said, Kendrick made it okay to hate on Drake in public. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Brad Blunt says, uh, what about, I mean, actually over, thank you for the, that was your 20th donation. Damn, thank you, boy. Um, Brad Blunt says, or maybe people don't fuck with the songs. I, I highly don't believe that people don't fuck with Family Matters. And even though people want to say it's a white flag with The Hard Part Six, I'm sorry. The Hard Part Six is a really good song, especially from a rapper perspective. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm not believing that. The sexy red song, I'll give it to you. The sexy red song is like. Uh, pick the cool. He says. Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trout in? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090J would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connect stand up, not far down. The ones that you get in your stories from, they all clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We got it for a weekend and we fed you the information. My daughter that's 11 years. Oh, that is a lie. And then we found out that that was a lie when he tried to make it seem like he set this up. Like he baited Kendrick. No, no, no. Academic, you said even yourself what Kendrick had in his possession was the real deal. But Drake over here trying to seem like, oh, we set this up. That was a lie. And you even um, said it yourself that Drake lied about that. So come on, bro. It's old. I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you're not concerned with it. <laughs> appreciate the five. Appreciate the five. Time speaks tipped. Five dollars. The mental gymnastics he went through to not admit Drake's obvious L is hilarious. He's quick to call Cole's trash trash. But Drake must be trolling. Exactly. Rolling eyes face. When 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 uh Drake's songs is trash, he's trolling. But if it's anybody else, trash is trash. But Drake trash is trolling. <laughs> Appreciate that five O speaks. No, I'm not even gonna listen to the rest of that shit. No, bro. That's not it. Can't listen to stick talking falsetto. It was hilarious. I still feel, uh, I still feel like you lost them. Okay. Miguel RT says, "What does Diddy and Tay not have in common? They both beat women." Well, I'm gonna just kind of skip past that whole thing with Kendrick. Like, and that goes back to the last person comment. Where's the proof? I guess maybe you don't have to respond to everything because I know pedophilia is like a very crazy accusation, but accusations of abusing women is too. And Kendrick didn't seem to give a fuck. Like, like we didn't see Kendrick try to go out his way to post a picture with his wife to, to, to let people know, like, now nah, we good over here, nigga. Like, to keep it real. You know, it's just like Kendrick's wife, even or, or like his girl. Nigga, she wished herself a mother's day. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga, once I see this, I was like, Drake might be right. Don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? She said, happy birthday to me. If a woman is saying happy birthday to her goddamn self, you know she ain't sweet in the crib. That's the day women flex on other bitches. We just so a 10 second post is supposed to validate what she did throughout 24 hours in the day of, of what he could have did for her for the whole month that you didn't see. So since she just typed or she just posted this little I don't know, 10 second video that validates that, she, that, that Kendrick didn't do anything for her. <laughs> Boy, people take social media too, but not everybody don't post everything on social media, bro. <laughs> From a man and by showing out with a man in the case. She posted up happy birthday to me and happy Mother's Day to all the real ones. Tells me that it's already it's not some happy home or maybe separated, but it doesn't confirm anything about the news. And also, you know, she didn't do what Drake would probably have wanted her to do, which would clearly sing the single that you know See, uh Ack is used to dating these Instagram thoughts, you know, that be showing y'all what they eat for dinner and oh I'm out, y'all. And you know, this, he's 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 used to dating, dating them Instagram thoughts that just be, you know, showing people that a, a man bought them Starbucks and just zoom in, do a little stupid ass boomerangs, be like bro, not not everybody show everything on Instagram, bro. <laughs> You just used to them, to them IG thotties. Uh, whatever he's saying is true, because even if they are taking a break, okay, is that like a, that's not like a tattoo, right? So, yeah. Uh, Three Dinglets, he also says, ain't been the same, ain't been the same since nothing was the same. Stop it, Three Dinglets, you wild, my boy. Uh, John Blue, he says, act, you are not giving music fans credit when it comes to dislikes. Why couldn't it be simply that a sexy red is just trash? Even with Drake on John Blue, I'm giving you that credit that the sexy red song is not that good. And then again, we've heard mid songs, trash songs, a 20% like ratio or 80% dislike ratio is, is kind of exorbitant. And if this was just a one off fine, Family Matters, which a lot of people like, getting half a million dislikes, uh, and then also the hard part six, I don't think the majority of conversations that those songs are trash, my boy. That's why I'm actually bringing this up, right? Investigation instead when that studio is a celebration. You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient. This ain't it, man. These songs didn't age well. These these diss tracks didn't age well. Maybe in this song, you rapping like you about to get the slaves free. You just acting like an activist is make believe. These got worse over time. It, 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 it like it might have hit during the time, but I think th this got worse over time. Oh, y'all niggas just gotta drive two hours. Now nah, I'll take that back. I like this part of the song. Family matters. I like I like this part right here. This part was hitting. Pause. The, the, the first half of the song, eh. First half, eh. But this part right here, I'm fucking with this part right here. Went hard. Pause. No diddy. But the first, eh. But still, Kendrick for Old Sweet. Kendrick.
Kendrick for Osweep. Chicago Ellipse or Chicago Lives, maybe that's it. Since it's definitely trying to hate Drake right now. BBL Jersey was huge and a brilliant chess move. I'll give Metro that credit. I didn't think that him dropping the beat for BBL Jersey was going to, and I don't think it's necessarily the beat. I think he started the challenge and fans wanted to get active in this beat anyway. Like he did one of the old school, remember like labels used to try to start up challenges to promote a song? Like I remember infamously like the labels for like Black Beetle, like uh, remember the Black Beetle song from, um, from uh, Ray Shrummer when they were trying to, like they were starting up where people were doing the mannequin challenge and you know, um, they were obviously pushing that. I thought the over attempt to try to make a challenge was over though. Like these days I moved on to TikTok, there's all those strategies trying to, try to get that pop in there. But Metro just put out a beat. The sample was already out. He just put some drums to it. Literally what Drake said, Metro shut your ass up and make some drums. He literally shut his ass up and made some drums to an already existing sample. And everybody jumped in. You go on TikTok and see so many different people, right? Like um, BBL, Jersey, TikTok, you go, you can just find so many people on there uh, just kind of like getting it in. Whoa. <laughs> Allow you the worst part about this, this showcase, and, and this is what I, so you know how Drake used AI. This is what AI before Drake, you know, embraced it. AI showed people that yeah, we love Drake and we love Kendrick, but there's really creative motherfuckers out there that just aren't Drake, who aren't Kendrick. But if they had to write some bars or if they had to make a product, they could make products that people could actually consider and be like, wait, is this Drake? Is this Kendrick? That's what AI did. It taught people that even though we love these great, talented, smart, creative musicians, there were so many more talented people in the world. What this BBL Drizzy shit did was kind of open it up. Be like, wow, there's dumb amount of talented people. Like, look at this shit. BBL Drizzy. That's just I've never even heard this. Song. Oh, I lie. This sounds like a different sample. Like, I mean, this is the talk box that um. Shut up, uh, I think this is the talk box. Is, Shut up, man. This shit. Shut up. Being a pedophile and Drake, your mouth almost looks like. <clears throat> almost looks like you're fucking um. Who could? Um, let me see if I can find the original. Oh yeah, here it goes. <laughs> Alright, shut up. Yo, people are fucking talented. Alright, shut up. Alright, shut up. Label. So yeah, you could go over there, they'll overpay you, and you'll have more leverage there. But the thing with streaming is that when you start streaming, like for example, right now, right? Good Kid Mad City. Good like did you see my tweet? I don't know if y'all follow me on Twitter. Good Kid Mad City. Check this out. Like if you think the labels aren't having a good time with this, look, Kendrick Lamar, damn, so 25k. Guaranteed damn is owned by TDE and Universal. I don't know what the pub or what do, what do this gotta do with a big C man? All this explanation, I'm done with this nigga for the day. Man, fuck this nigga. <laughs> I can't take no more. I can't, I can't take no more than good uh, I, I can't take no more of this nigga, me goblin. If he says, if, I'm just gonna skip through this shit, see, see if I can catch something, but I'm tired of this, I'm tired of this nigga. This nigga on my damn nerves.